worked here at KTN and at Standard Group. In fact, we have some of our alumni who are joining us here, are with us actually here today. Let me just recognize a few of them. Uh, there's Joy Doreen Bira, you remember her as our business anchor. In fact, I'll be speaking to her in just a moment. We also have in the crowd Waweru Njoroge, if you can just stand and wave. We also have Lydia Manyasi somewhere in the audience, if you can just stand and wave. We also have former staff, Nema Wamai, who's also in the crowd, just stand and wave. So we continue to appreciate all our former staff, and in fact, we'll be forming the Standard Group Alumni Network in just a moment. So it's a family that just never, never, never really falls apart. And right now, I'd like to engage with Joy Doreen Bira. It's not too long ago that you are here, Joy. You've seen the new news, newsroom. Right. What, what do you think about it? I love it. Uh, I think it, it really speaks to the new consumption of news the new audience of news, and I think one of the speakers also talked about how um, good digital journalism is good for business, and I think that what we are seeing today here, what we are witnessing as the relaunch of the Standard Media Group is evidence of what good business in journalism is all about. Thank yeah. you very much. So are we going to see you back here? <laughs> well, you let me know. I have seen a number of my fellow alumni here. I think Bonnie Tunya is here as well. And uh, Ms. Oweru as well. Uh, so many others. So who knows? We just might be seeing you more often and you could be seeing us more often as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Joy. Always a pleasure to see you. Thanks. And right now, I also want to engage with Mr. Bharat Dhakra, who is an advertising guru here in the country. Thank you very much, sir, for being with us today on this very auspicious moment. And in the changing space, we are adapting to the changing landscape of media. What are the new trends in advertising in this space? Thank you. Um, thank you very much for inviting me, first of all. Thank you, my friends there. So I think uh, we are all familiar, you know, with a very famous phone in our pockets. And I think that's where the future is, right? Um, I think most important is that today um, people out there want real-time content, right? Whether it's sports, entertainment, politics, any event that's happening, they want real-time. And they want to see it on their phone, wherever they are, right when it happens. And I think what you've been alluding to earlier on as, as, as this uh, command center, going to pick up all the news, put it out there. So I think it's pretty much what the insight is right now and where the future is. So congratulations uh, to the Standard Group. I think you are way ahead. And like I think was mentioned earlier on, the first on the, or the second on the continent. And I think this is really wonderful news. You're embracing technology. You're embracing uh, digital, and most important is you are listening to what people actually want. They want real-time content, whether it's entertainment, sports, news, politics, everything. And I think you're going to make an absolute uh, great success of uh, this new transformation that you've done. So thank you, and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And of course, advertisers are one of our biggest stakeholders, so it's good to see that we are getting a thumbs up from our stakeholders as we continue uh, just reinventing ourselves to be relevant in the market. Ben. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Sharon, and thank you for that feedback uh, from um, Mr. Thaka and Joy Doreen. Good to see you. Um, just a reminder, um, it was good to see Madam Lydia Manyasi. She was my art teacher. Now that's very important to state so that Mr. Orlando, it can be confirmed that my certificates are valid. <laughs> the KTN video takes us way back in history. Sharon, 30 years ago, where were you? Um. You know, naturally, I should pretend that 30 years ago, I wasn't born. <laughs> but 30 years ago, I, I was in kindergarten, actually, and I remember watching Club Kiboko. In fact, we used to watch a lot of family-friendly, uh, you know, programs on KTN News. And guess what, Ben? 30 years later, being here, being part of